So yeah, uh, sorry, the, the, this reached the size limit of the video. So you know, when people fuck me over and that mutual respect and fair tidings, when you know, when I when I say bye to people, I don't say have a good day because for all I know that person might be a total cunt. When I when I meet someone I don't really know, I don't be like oh have a good one. I'm more like you know fair tidings and fair tidings means may the tide bring into you what you cast out to the sea, motherfucker. Whether that's good things, whether that's bad things. Fair tidings means you just fucking get what you give. And I'm all about fair tidings. I'm all about mutual respect. And that means it goes both ways. How you treat me, that means that you've set the standard, the bar, the rules. You've changed the protocol for our fucking dealings and interactions. Um, which means that, you know, as opposed to before, I would be completely, you know, have a conscience and I'd feel guilty about doing something a bit cunty and a bit horrible to to somebody who didn't deserve it. Um, the second they start doing that shit to me, consciously, deliberately, maliciously, without a care, suddenly I've got no problem doing some pretty fucking horrific shit. You know what I mean? Because I have that ability. I have the ability to invest myself deeply and entirely where where it's deserved. But I can also be completely disconnected and switched off and sociopathic in that sense. Um... Once somebody crosses a line with me and, you know, my heart, the doors of my heart close and it's all in my fucking head from there, how I'm going to approach the situation. So people got to be careful, you know, um, that's not like, oh, I'm a fucking tough con, I'm going to fuck people up. So I don't just overtly fuck people up like that. I just do what I need to do to make sure that I feel that I have been compensated for or maybe in some cases to feel that they have learned their lesson from the situation. Sometimes you just get so fucked on, it's just so unjust and unfair, crazily so, that you just, you just want, you do just want to take out their fucking eye in return. You know what I mean? And, and hope that maybe they'll learn about it, and maybe that feeling of satisfaction, sadistic satisfaction even, um, that's a compensation in itself, a little bit. So, well, at least I'm not the only one being totally fucking shot on in a world of pain because of this cunt. Now they have to deal with a little bit of inconvenience too. And I won't fucking lie. I won't twist shit. I won't do some really bad shit to get even with people. Um, but typically if somebody's fucked me over, it, it usually means that they're the kind of person <laughs> that they've got shit that you don't even need to lie about. You can just be honest. You can just tell people. You know? You can just tell the authorities the truth. And then they're going to have to lie to try to get the authorities off their fucking back. So people really got to watch, watch out um, I might be vicariously talking to some people right now, but, um, yeah, people gotta be careful. They disrespect me, they fuck with me, all my property, they don't do the right thing, they don't balance the scales with me. Um, and like I said, I can be neglectful, I can be unreliable with payment and that, but one thing I am not is malicious. And I don't intentionally, maliciously hurt people unless... And like I said, I'm not doing it just to hurt them unless they've really hurt me, and that's and that's rare cases. You know, only fucking Kara Hamilton is a nickname for the actual bitch who I'm talking about. She's someone I would like to do some things to hurt her to make life really hard for her, but you know, it's just not worth the time. So I didn't, you know, I'm not gonna do it. But um, but she fucking would deserve it. I won't go into that story. But fuck, man, keep away from that cunt. She's crazy, totally schizophrenic, and I mean meds and everything, which is fine, you know, she's got her reasons, and that is true, everyone's got their reasons, but at the same time, you know, people still kill cockroaches, because, you know, fuck you, so, whatever, um, so yeah, people, people gotta be careful, because they, they do things recklessly, they just focus on their business, on themselves, their, their self-absorption, and they throw it onto other people, and they don't really consider the potential effects and ramifications and consequences, and the ultimate outcome um, of their actions and what they're contributing to. They don't consider it. They just they just think, well, I've got momentum with my story that I've been lost in for so many years and no one stopped me. So now I can't even hear anyone else. I'm just fucking going to my own tune, deaf and listening to my own fucking music. You know, and they dance around, they knock shit over and they step on toes and they're none the wiser for it. They, don't, they have no conception how this stuff's affecting the people around them. They don't even consider what the people around them are capable of doing. They don't even consider consider the people's motives and how their behavior might change their motives. Um, and how those persons' motives might link to their actions 
and their capabilities, how that might actually come back to bite them on the fucking butt side, on the, on the back side, on the, on the ass. You know, so I, ho- I hope in general, like, if people hear this, they just take heed, because, like, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being fucked around, and if you fuck with me, I'll fuck with you. And if you fuck with me, it means you're a fucker. And it means you fucked with other people, too. And it means there's dirt to be found on you. And I'll, I'll fucking bury you. Not physically, but I'll bury you socially. Uh, or if, if if you've done something illegal, or if there's something I can do to really mess with your life, and I feel that you deserve it, and, you know, it's not just me like, ooh, I feel they deserve it, and I'm just over-exaggerating. I'll fucking talk with people and reflect, and I give all the information about where I'm wrong, where they're wrong, everything that's happened, the best that I can recall that, as objective as I can be. And if, if I end up surmising that, you know, this is... I think I've got a good idea of how they've treated me and what they deserve. And I, I think it's proportionate. And I'll do it with, with, without an issue if, if there's enough incentive to. Some people I'll cut away and I'm just like, it's not worth the time because if you step on every single bug that crosses your path, you're going to end up with a very dirty sole. You know, the sole of your shoe, that is. And I don't want to keep changing shoes. I don't want to have to keep coming back because I keep dirtying my soul, stepping on every 